By now we're guessing, you've probably heard of Saudi Arabia's The Line, and perhaps even South Korea's floating city, but what about Tolosa? It's yet another futuristic city, planned to be built from scratch, this time it'll be set somewhere in the middle of the US desert, and cost a staggering $400 billion to complete. Tolosa's blueprints is all about sustainability, and an economic system called equitism, and it's been proposed by this guy, a billionaire entrepreneur Mark Laurie, a former Walmart executive, and founder of JET.com, and Diapers.com. The city is being designed by a world-famous architect, and aims to be home to 50,000 people by the year 2030, before going on to grow into a population of 5 million. So, how will an entire sustainable city, be built in the middle of the desert? What exactly is equitism? And why is a billionaire of all people proposing the city of the future? As the consequences of climate change, continue to wreak havoc all over the world, there have been more and more proposed solutions, that strive for sustainability, some of them seem pretty unthinkable ideas. Of course, there's the line, a 170-kilometer mirrored linear city in Saudi Arabia, that's designed to be fully walkable with no cars or carbon emissions. Mexico has proposed a smart forest city near Cancun, which contains 7.5 million plants, and eco-efficient developments, and South Korea's floating city, is structured to combat rising sea levels, with platforms on top of the water. After the ancient Greek word telos, meaning the highest purpose. It's an entire city built from scratch, to be located somewhere in the American Southwest. This wouldn't be the first time, something completely new was built there. The Hoover Dam was constructed nearly a hundred years ago, around Arizona-Nevada border, and created a vital water electricity supply for the surrounding cities. That helped spark significant growth for places like La Phoenix and San Diego, and now billionaire Mark Laurie wants to introduce a new major city into the region, much of which he plans to invest in himself, but his approach towards increasing developments is a bit different than creating a source of energy. Designed by Danish architect Jark Ingels, Telosa aims to be a green city by incorporating a variety of eco-friendly features. This starts with where residents will get their food and energy supplies, Telosa's solution is solar roof tiles and aeroponic farms, the panels will be a source of renewable energy, and this type of farming will cultivate a higher yield of crops, using less water. Then there's the design of the city itself, at the center stands Equitism Tower, called the beacon of the city Equitism Tower, is a skyscraper with lookout areas where residents can gather. Surrounding the tower are 36 districts, arranged as 15-minute cities, where everything residents need will be within walking distance, for anything further away there's a public transport system, electric and autonomous vehicles, will cruise the streets at a slow pace to protect pedestrians and bikers, but fossil fuel vehicles are banned overall. The 150,000-acre proposal is roughly the size of Chicago, and will apparently be built over a 40-year period. The location is well in the middle of a U.S. desert, most likely in either Nevada or Utah or Arizona. Now obviously, building a city from scratch in the middle of a hot desert, while relying on surrounding resources, sounds like a bit of a challenge. But while the design itself might work, a city needs access to water, and in a desert water rights and availability aren't easy to come by. Cities in Arizona already face these issues, and many rely on fossil groundwater for its residents, a non-renewable resource, others depend on desalination techniques, but this can be expensive, and often isn't a very sustainable process. As for Tolosa, the futuristic city says it will capture and recycle water for various uses, this water will then be stored in reservoirs throughout its parks, this most likely will come from groundwater, but still raises another question? How can it make a finite resource last? Sustainability isn't the only goal of Tolosa, billionaire Mark Laurie also hopes to base the way society operates on a concept called equitism. What is equitism? According to Tolosa, it's an economic system where all residents have a stake in the city's land as the value of the land increases 
plots can be sold to create an endowment, the money gained will then go back to the city, to fund social services like education and health care. Now Lori isn't the first billionaire to propose a futuristic city like this. Bill Gates introduced Belmont, a smart city from scratch to be based in Arizona, and Elon Musk is trying to create a city called Starbase in Texas. It feels like there's a bit of a trend going on. Telosa may have impressive designs and ideas, which is still yet to announce the exact spot where that 150,000-acre city is going to sit. But just like all these other futuristic ideas, it might hint at what our cities could look like it in the future. Lori's idea for a community land trust isn't new, there are already nearly 300 across the US, but the idea of expanding it in such a big way is pretty different. And historically the model helps maintain affordability for future low-income families, an idea that could influence cities struggling with these issues. Now, it's certainly possible that Telosa will never get built, but if it doesn't the designs can still spur important conversations for forward-thinking policies and as the effects of climate change further accelerates. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave your comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.